Guys, are you expecting an intro? Uh, we have too much space to explore. We have planets to discover. Know my culture to uncover. Let's go. What are you still doing in the intro? All jokes aside, uh, if you guys are popping in for the first time, maybe an awkward time to come in, but <laughs> for anybody who was here for the last episode, then you already know what we're doing, but I'll just recap real quick. We are going to... We're currently restarting the day on Brittle Hearth, so we're going to actually go back to that bramble and see if there's anything we can uncover about the ghost matter, about the bramble, and just basically figure out how we're going to be able to navigate across that, through it. Is it going to help us discover how we can get to the bramble planet to begin with? And then we're going to be going to the Brittle... Uh, then we're going to go to Brittle Hollow to go to the Southern Observatory. So that's on the agenda today, and we'll see what else we get into. Because knowing me, there's going to be like 10 other things we do. Okay, let's head over to the Dark Matter. Oh, well, I don't exactly want to like land. Okay, hold on. Not the best landing spot. I hope there's nobody below me. Okay. <laughs> let's read about this again. Ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is, is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Yeah. Whose sound is that? Kid keeps hitting it. I guess we could use the camera. Okay, so hear me out. Maybe we can navigate through it. You just have to see, whoa, nope, 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 nope. Maybe not. All right, let's go check out the, the thing that crashed. Maybe not. Okay. It says more to discover, but that also could all, I don't know, I guess it could be because it's probably more to discover once we figure more out about the bramble. Coming in hot. Because the, oh, the music is coming from it. I'm here. What have we got so far? Right, the unknown. It's weird that it's emanating from everything. Like it's, no, that's from the planet outside of it, right? That's not actually this, no, it is. It is. I mean, we've seen this before. I'm not quite sure what else we can do. I don't think we can break into it. I wish we could use the ghost matter against it. Have you figured anything else out? Space. We've already read this. Yeah. This is all new, or all old stuff. I don't think I have a tool or anything that we can use for that, so I guess we gotta go to Brittle Hollow. We'll have to hold this for later. Well, that was quick. Okay, back to Brittle Hollow, Southern Observatory. Lock in, go. Oh no, that's Addle Rock. Ignore it. I'm like Dark Moon. Where are you? There we go. We could go to Hollow's. No, oh, can you actually land on Hollow's lantern? There's no way. It also moves too fast. Might as well try. I'm trying this again. Nothing's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try it again. Going too fast. Firing retro rockets, retro rocket it. Autopilot complete. And it's going to disappear. to figure that out later okay this is hollow's lantern i'm gonna go ahead and whoa is that the interloper go to the interloper 
aligning flight trajectory. I want to see what it is, but I also don't think we're going to be able to catch up with it. I mean, that thing is accelerating towards destination. See, this is what I told you. What did I say? Oh, we're just going to do, we're going to do like a million other things. Probably going to just do a million other things. Can I actually land on that? Get closer. I mean, what even? Is that ice? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh no, it's going away, it's going away, it's going away. Autopilot! Autopilot, go! There's gotta be something. No, cause otherwise, oh, it did say landing. It did say landing. Oh my goodness. I didn't think we were gonna do this today, but here we are. We've successfully landed on the interloper. Did it update this? Wait. Did it update this? No, not yet, because we haven't stepped foot. Oh! Wow. <gasps> I don't know if there's anything really to discover, but do we have a sound for here? I think the interloper really has sounds. I guess nothing's really taken us to the interloper, has it? Yeah. Or unless we could do maybe one of the different frequencies? Quantum fluctuation? Maybe? Island shard. Just hanging out over there. Distress beacons. I haven't. I'm skating. I'm skating. <sighs> but there's nothing really here. Even at this center point. I'm just gonna skate off of it. Wait! Wait, that is not necessarily true. What do we have here? <gasps> it was all worth it. This is troublesome. This is Clary. I don't recognize his name. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. My ship. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? The gravity cannon. Pi. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle. Until someone recalled it. Perhaps we should have landed on the dark side of the comet. I landed on the dark side, I think. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. Clary. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can return to investigate the surface. What are the chances that they're still alive? How am I supposed to? It sounds like crunchy snow. It's so cool. Wait a minute. I think that's a distress beacon, no? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I just heard a distress beacon. But that's not from the interloper. That's from something else. That's that's definitely look at how far it is. That's not from here. Hmm. Well, I don't think we can get inside of the ship itself. I think that part's out. But we should be able to call it back with the beacon, no? If we did exactly what they said, shouldn't we be able to or maybe it's too far it's too far gone. It seems that the combo was just emerged right into the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if we did, couldn't someone call it back with a gravity cannon? So we could potentially call it back with a gravity cannon on Ember Twin if we get there. If we get there. 
But that person's long gone. You know? There's no way they're still alive. Okay, let's skate to the other side. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's just my ship. All right, interloper done, discovered. I don't think there's anything else really. Looking at it, I see our ship. Usually there's things on the northern and southern side of the planet from what I can tell, or whatever the object is. Beat an interloper or what? A crevasse? Oh. All right, well, that took a little bit different of a journey. I don't think we need to repair anything. Return my flight suit. Let's go check out our new stuff. Frozen, know my structure, shuttle, gravity cannon. Yep, I, we just discovered the gravity cannon because we didn't know about that before. All right, a couple new things, exciting things. All right, let's view the entry. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. There's more to explore here. But I don't think necessarily yet. I don't think we can do anything else. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. I think after Brittle Hollow, it's time to go to the embers, guys, if at all possible. If at all. Dark bramble seed, right? Okay, go to map mode. We have discovered the interloper. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Back to Brittle Hollow. And launch me. Goodbye, interloper. Oh. Alright, there is... If that is... Yeah, I was gonna say, if that is Deep Hollow, that's gotta be the Bramble? What is that? Oh, that's our, um... That's our... The station. Yeah, all right, let's head back over here. We're gonna get into to autopilot. I'm still gonna try to land on the other part, the moon for Brittle Hollow. All right, go over to that. Oh my. Right, okay. Right. Right. In my defense. Right. No defense. So we're just gonna match velocity. And uh, I'll be back in a jiffy. I guess I thought when I changed the direction, it would be fine. Repair landing gear. Whoa! Ma'am? Wow, your fuel gets absolutely depleted out here. Is that done? That's done. I see my fuel tracking. See something sparking right here? That's not good. All right, let's repair this. Landing camera, yeah. Every time I try to hold to match, it does not like doing it. Okay, that's done, and what else? Tracking my fuel, don't worry. Oh yeah, maybe that. That doesn't look like that's normal. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, get back in there. Woo! All right, we're good. Every time I go out into space, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it and I love it. All right, so back to this. I wonder if it's even really possible to land. Maybe when it's not launching out stuff. No, there are, there's some pieces. There's some pieces. It might be possible. It's going to be hard. It's going to be the hardest landing I think we've done. 
Look at the way that thing is rotating. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right there, maybe? Is my ship not gonna just, like, melt? Should be fine, right? Our ship is not fine. Our ship is not fine. Our ship is not fine. Maybe, like, a nice... That's not nice. Mmm. Okay, I'm getting too crazy. I can't land exactly on one of the... I don't even think we should be landing on it, but I want to land on it just to update. Just to see something. There was one flat area. I did see one flat good land spot. At least I thought it was, but maybe not. Maybe right here? Okay, that, wait, it won't let me get out. Hold on. There. Okay. Yeah, because look, when you go to this mode, we haven't landed on it. So we just need to land on it just to check it off to begin with. Roasty toasty. Oh. Talk about motion sickness. This is a good landing spot. Yeah. Any frequency from this itself? No music. What's our... Okay, we've got actually... Okay. My fuel... How am I supposed to repair my fuel? I guess I need to find... Oh! Oh, my fuel shot. We gotta go. I just want to see if there's something inside beside the lava. No? Okay, let's go back to our ship. Go back to the ship. Go back to the ship. Go back to the ship. Yeah. My fuel. I've got to repair my fuel. All right, let's just use our scout. Anything? Not really. I'm afraid not. I just, I, I yeah. I mean, they will tell us if there's more to explore here. Now that we've landed on it, it should tell us. No. No discoveries yet. Are there supposed to be? <laughs> okay. Maybe? I mean, I'm assuming there's got to be some kind of discovery, so maybe we'll, we'll circle back. Launch me. All right, let's go off to Brittle Hollow, which, by the way, is looking less and less... Um... Oh, how do we put this? Uh... Oh, I guess now I can fly my ship into here. Yes. Okay. Do not go into that black hole. Do not get sucked into it. Do not. Whoa. Do not get sucked into that thing. There. I want to go over here. But I can't exactly... Can I land on that? It did say there were more discoveries to be had here. Oh, shoot. Ow. Do not get pulled into that. Don't you dare get pulled into that. Okay, we're going up. This is, it's gonna be how we have to explore this. Yeah. Okay. No, this is, this is better. Yeah, the second time I came here, I ended up dying because also my fuel. Have I run out of fuel supply? Oh no. Yeah, I ended up losing it because they, I, I couldn't walk across the path anymore. Here we go. This is major finding. Look at this. Translation. School district. Meltwater district. Look how much. Eye shrine district. Black hole forge district. They must have not, or maybe it just took a really long time for this to start exploding like this. 
don't know, I just, I just find it so hard to believe that they constructed all of this knowing that the black hole was going to devour it. Or black hole forge controls. What? Or not even that it was going to destroy it. I think more than anything, it's not the black hole that's doing this. It's the moon. It's my corresponding moon. Black hole forge controls. send me down inside the black hole. Maybe? Okay, let's go back up. There's so much to explore here. This was pretty much... They almost recreated as their home. After everything that happened. I missed so much. There's a waterfall in here? <laughs> wow. The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? That's it. It never was finished. I feel like the day is going to get zapped away from me again. And they call it a mine. A mine. <gasps> nice, scroll. Oh, the mysteries are coming together now. Drop it. Pokey, I feel strange trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times, it, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor, and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. <laughs> I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? I like even that, like just the, um, they have a little bit more of an eloquent or maybe like, I, I don't want to say like more educated speech, but they use like the, the way that they use and their sentence structure is more eloquent. It really is. Still, all I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Oh man. Oh no. There must have been so many Nomai. I mean, I can understand. I, I guess, I guess I now can really understand how they were able to construct all of this, because they had so many people. I mean, for them to have this many deaths, they would have had to have had a lot of people. Whoa. Oh, that's where we need to go. Okay, we gotta find a fuel reserve too. Let's, oh. I don't know if I wanna go up. Will I be able to go back down? Does this take me up to the... Whoa. You can go even further up. Huh. That means we can go further down and we need to go down more than anything. Going all the way up real quick. Whoa. I feel like it's going to happen. I know. Fuel level critical. Nothing up here. It's happening. Or no, that's just the wind. Ah! I feel like I spent my whole time going through this, just waiting for the explosion to happen now, you know? Like, now that it's happened a couple times, you're like, <laughs> worried. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're just windows, they're windows. It's the same mechanism. Not quite sure what the point of going up is. Maybe that's an exit of some sort? Possibly. All right, let's grab the scroll and read what it says. 
I like their tables, their little vase. They've got little vases. There's so much to explore here. Let's see. I wonder if you have to insert them in the right way too, like in the correct one, two, three. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Blocks, this would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good Nomai perished there. Syacad, Syacad, Syacad. My mentor, Colossus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Did I miss that part? Oh, Raimi, I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in fossil fish cave when we were children. Colossus? What Meloore, Meloore? and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. Let me try to finish. The vessel's warp core is broken, but at best, if I can scan it, I can read it in the thing. No, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back. We can get back there, though. We can get back there super easy. I was avoiding Brittle Hollow because I thought the only way to uncover all this stuff was by going on foot, like we originally did in the first two times and the second time where I died. Now that I know I can fly my ship down here, it feels as easy as Hollow's Deep. Or Deep Giant. Giant's Deep? Deep Hollow Giant? Wait, what? Isn't it, it's such a, <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be cool to watch the reactions to when it first happens, you're trying to figure out what's going on, you're trying to figure out what, I also feel like um, it's not very often that I will start to assume things right away. A lot of times I'll, um, I'll wait until somebody tells me what's going on. Uh, I didn't get out, oh, come. I messed up, I messed up. This is a bit awkward. <laughs> Have I? I think I've messed it up. Um. I should use Scout when I'm in the ship. Uh, I think considering that my jets are on right now, I've messed it up and we might just need to restart that. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Stop crackle pop. This is the most me thing possible. Okay. Back to it. Every time we wake up, we see that happen. Like that structure breaks off. And I know that this is taking me far too long to put together, but that absolutely, that explosion, when that piece breaks off, I just happen to be having my first flight on the same day that that breaks apart. That has something to do with it. I mean, we already know the, we already know that the cannon has something to do with it, but that confirms it, like seeing that every time. Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Hold on. What is that? Adelrock? Adelrock's always so dark. Hmm. There you are. Autopilot? We still need to even get to the, um... I love how you can, I didn't even think about that, but you could definitely put it on autopilot and just go angler fish fossil. And then we also learned about the black hole forge. 
is suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the forge. The black hole forge district is the highest district in the hanging city. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least. By studying anglerfish fossil, they found an ember twin. I wonder if that means we need to go back to find that fossil. There's more to explore here in the Hanging City, right? There always is. All right, accelerating towards destination. And ready. Board autopilot. Hold up. We're coming in hot. Let's see if we can find the Southern Observatory just so that I can. You know what? We're gonna land here this time. That's not good. Okay. That'll do. We're gonna come at it from multiple different oh! angles. Brittle hollow projection stone. Have we been here, first and foremost? This does not look like something we've ever been to. His signal should be here. Rybeck should be here. No, that's, a, that's the frequency from... Shouldn't his beacon be here? I've got my fuel back. Nothing new here. My heart, my poor heart, <laughs> my poor heart. <sighs> oh, great balls of fire, literally. Okay. Projection. Okay. Maybe this is the forge? This will help us be able to walk up and down levels. So some kind of, oh, and we'll be able to read the writing from that, another structure. Okay, I think I understand. Yes, here we go, dialogue. Solan, Solanum? I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Bells. These are all new people. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you can follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. We need to do that. There's more to learn, remember? My gratitude for the direction spells. I'll see you soon. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. This might be a different section, too. This might not even be... Yeah, this is different. This just takes me up. I need to be able to move it so I can go down. How else am I supposed to... Oh, fiddlesticks. Hmm. I guess I could fall while landing gracefully. Oh. The bone coloring. What's with the different, like, the shading around the bones that certain points you guys know okay we're going down easy enough this is all new okay let's walk down here first see what we've got down here dead trees here the crossroads west that's all new too that should be one of the spots where we can fast travel I know, I haven't been using it. I, I've only used it like once or twice. Then let's see what's this way. I hope that the Brittle Hollow doesn't continue to deteriorate until there's nothing left and like you miss your chance. The Southern Observatory. Oh, 
I need to, I need both. I need both, but let's do, mm. I mean, we can always come back. We can always come back. What was this? What was the point of this structure? Maybe to teleport? Possibly. Okay, we're gonna go Southern Observatory first because that's our first clue. We gotta get this. This is the closest we've ever gotten to it. Oh, no way. <gasps> this is horrifying. These systems that they created? Imagine the first person to test them too. Not today. You have to jump around, otherwise you'll lose it. Yeah, otherwise I'm afraid I probably would have died. Yeah, because that goes to nothing. Or maybe it would have dropped you. It's possible it would have just dropped you. But what's over here? We can... We should have enough jet fuel to get over there. Right? We should. Oh, man. Well, I can't go back that way. I'd have to be able to rotate it, so now I'm stuck here. Yeah. I have to do this. Okay, this path will take us somewhere else. There's a whole system of... Mm. That's all leading to the same spot, right? Okay. This will be good. Right? How am I supposed to jump? How am I supposed to make that jump? There we go. Just use the jetpack that we were given. I'm gonna need to find some way to rotate all these. That's actually really pretty. Oh, I like how it's almost giving this magenta ruby hue to the planet. Mostly because of the lava and the black hole, but still. There is no way I'm not going to die here. Oh. <laughs> Talk about a bunch of leaps of faith. Come on. Southern Observer. These are broken. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. Ow. Wait, that's going straight into the black hole. No, no, no. This is it. And then drop down here. Oxygen refueled. Oxygen refueled. Can I walk up any further? No, they're out. So we need to go over here. Oh no! That's so unfortunate. No, no. Right. That was so much progress to throw it all away. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'm gonna get us back to where we were. It's happened to all of us, don't look at me like that. I'm sure it's happened more times than you guys want to admit, okay? <laughs> okay. Did that star already burst? No, I started a new day. Okay, I got here. I got us back right here. There's more stuff down there. And we're near oxygen, which is nice too. I think we need to get up there. There might be a better way to jetpack up there. Oh. I just have to put all my force into it and let myself fall. You know? And ready. That's not good. Right? And fall, and fall, and fall, and fall. Oh. But we don't have to be here. But if we want to get up there, right which is where we need to go probably not actually hmm. wait yes we have to get to that if we want to be able to go back up oh you've got to be kidding me oh shoot all right at least we have enough oxygen it looks like there's something over there but i don't really want to find out 
got to take some risks, though, don't I? We should be able to get that. There was stuff down below as well, though. It's just... Oh my gosh, why would I do this to myself? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't. I know. Okay, whew, recovered. Recovered, 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 recovered. <sighs> Maybe we'll come back and explore more. Like, yeah. Uh, will I remember to come back later, though? There was definitely some more stuff down below. We'll circle back. Oh, man. Leap of faith time. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. The Southern Observatory. Isn't he here? Rybeck should be here, right? Look at this. This is beautiful. This is what we saw in the Whirlpool. I'm not going to stand in that right now. Or in the, uh, thing. Something over here. A door. To the outside. Oh no. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. This sounds like my recording. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me. I bet. The good news, that's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. But isn't that where I came from? Here's a ship. So I could have landed here, and this is why it's actually really good that I didn't, because just like he said, I would have gotten to this recorder, and I would have had no way to go inside. I can't enter his ship. Look at that. It's beautiful. But maybe he did end up finding a way in after all, so maybe he's somewhere in here? Somewhere? Okay, time to learn about why we can't break through that current. Giant steep projection stone, let's go. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about where we were before too. I know there is so much to uncover here and I have not forgotten about it. Maybe he's in the, um, uh, the black hole research area. Cassava. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank down beneath the current. We know this. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink, even partially below the current. But ours sank straight into the core. Try to keep this from, like, falling out. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. But we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of the giant's deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, but I, you kindly explain? I think we've already read this on the other side, right? Yeah. If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's ca Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We have to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which is where I just, I thought that's where I just was. Yeah, that was the tower. And then it was showing us how to get to, okay. Yeah, so we landed at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Here's the projection pool. So how did it work? Okay, this is where we saw. So we're finally starting to get pieces that are connecting back and forth. This isn't exactly giving us new information, but this is showing us the next location. This is where we picked up the information to begin with. So maybe something here is how we're going to be able to break beneath the surface. Hmm. Just gonna leave it there for now. 
Right. The fact that they were able to recreate that here. So intelligent. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the cairn that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the second secondary type of cyclone. That's so simple! Ah! But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Spire! Okay, so, the main type, rare type that spins in the opposite direction. Wait, where is the main type? There. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. Okay, so when observing, that's rotating counterclockwise. So we need to find the counterclockwise ones and jump into it? Essentially? So you say. The answer was so simple! I need to... Wow. We've seen this. Haven't we seen this observatory? We've seen this in one of the projection pools. I think. <gasps> Whoa. What did I do? Whoa. Okay, stand by. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe, Kanoi? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe that the eye is in orbit around this star system sun. This would mean that the eye is located within a f an a finite, albeit enormous, range. Plume, those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any traces of the eye's signal. I'm trying to remember what the eye does again. Avens. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. And what is the search for the eye must be kind of like the search for infinite knowledge or something? Cassava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called to us to summon us to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Wow. What an update here. Another one of those portations, the teleportations. Aslan Stone. <laughs> What's that noise? I guess it's just coal. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? Mallow, we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to uncover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull, but the cannon went wrong and that's what happened. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. Really? And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. The quantum moon. If we could send out a probe, then the quantum moon would stay in place, right? Maybe. If we can keep eyes on, then we can land on the quantum moon. That should be how it would work, right? That's why every time I fly into it and I, I lose sight of it, it disappears. But if I can keep it in my sights, I can land on it. I think. I need to test this. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. 
As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Ah. Oh. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for the problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? What were Raimi and Pi developing? Uh, we need to get back to the ship. The ship will help us figure this out. Yes, of course, it was so simple. That was why we went to the tower and that's how we learned about the quantum and oh my goodness. Okay, let's try doing stuff with this. Let's try lifting all of these. This did something. Hmm. That one's already up. Ah, it's showing the entire part of it. This was how they saw the solar system. And then we have our furthest out one. And... And then we have this guy. We just made it in the grand scheme of everything. And now it's operational. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. But that's okay. That's running now? Let's go down. Oh, this is awesome. I feel like we learned so much here. This gets me up. I can't go back down this way. I don't think so. I think we have to go out this way. Snap, though. The only downside to that is I'm pretty far away from my ship. That's okay, though. I wish I could take his ship. A lot easier. Hmm. The downside is to get back to my ship. Ooh. My ship's on the complete other side. Oh no. We should be able to take a ship. There's no way for me to go back down through the observatory, I don't think. That's okay. Maybe not okay. We just need to conserve our fuel. While jumping all the way down. Mm. I was hoping that that circle orb that started to glow would help us be able to... Okay, the ship is kind of... We're kind of closing distance. It would help us be able to... Like, fast travel, essentially. From the first... I need to go back to the... I keep wanting to say... Ugh. The white orb space station or something. That's not ideal. Okay. We need to get over there to get to our ship. Yeah, our ship is definitely on that side. Can I make it across like that though? Not with no fuel. Because I'm gonna have to cross some of these, like look at this. I might have to reset yeah, fuel level critical. I might just have to reset after the knowledge that we learned. Might not be the worst thing in the world. Two hundred and thirty? Yes? We're fine? Coming in hot? Oh! Woo! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. That was awesome. Okay, back to the ship. Store that for a second. Check our log. We just discovered so much. Yes, we need to get to the Tower of Quantum. We need to go back down where we're at right now, but I need fuel. What am I supposed to do about that? Orbital probe cannon. Gabbro sees a butterfly. Okay, wait, wait, that wasn't the new stuff. Here we go. Southern Observatory. There, okay. Oh, there's a lot. The new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed that the eye was in a distinct orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for, a visually, look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. There are cyclones that send components into orbit, but there's a rarer type that's counterclockwise, which we're, we're going to go back to. Don't even stress. We are going back to Rybeck. 
Rybeck landed their ship near the big dome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. We need to get to the equator. There's more at the Dark Bramble Seed that is not here. That's all? Is that Gabbro's Island? I'm trying to figure out why they're showing... Why those are grayed out. This one's grayed out too, the Northern Glacier. All right, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I know my name to Sol Sol Solanan, Solanum, was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on her pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. We do need to go back there. And the vessel. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed into the Dark Bramble. That's from a previous, previous thing. Going back here, though. So we've got a couple different things. We are still not done with the Hanging City. We have the Black Hole Forge to explore. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So much to do. So much to do. So much to see. Uh, and we need to get after Rybuck, too. First things first. I need to get more fuel. Because if I put this back on... Refuel? I did not realize you could refuel from the ship. That was silly of me. I'm trying to decide it. I think let's make the use... I know we're going to get singed. Or scorched or whatever. Long story short, it's about to be bad news bears because there is no way... There is absolutely no way that it's not going to explode and the day's going to start over. We need to get down there. Here we go. Oh, scout, baby. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home from the ice planet. The shuttle is currently resting on... Wait, the shuttle is currently resting at Quantum Moon. Oh, not the shuttle from the ice. Okay, different shuttles can be called back from different locations. The shuttle... Wait, 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 wait. The shuttle that I'm looking for needs to be from one of the twins. The crossroads. I think we already saw the crossroads. That just heads back up there. I say we call the shuttle back home. Get back to the ship. What? What? The shuttle. Whose shuttle is this? This is one of the... Is this one of the... Hold on. No. Different signal. We've never been inside of a Know My Shuttle. There's nobody left. Oh, man. Okay. Solanum, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make a reminder, make the reminder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Hmm. Okay, I'm back I'm back here. Okay, I'm back home. I'm back home. I'm back home. What's this way? Why does it not want to go up here?
Okay, where is it trying to take us? Just launches you? Sun. Pride is not the word I used. It just sends you straight out. It's a bit scary. Okay, let's head back. There might be more to explore here. There's probably definitely more to explore here. Also, am I in space? No, I'm fine. Um, I think we're losing more and more of this, so we need to hurry up. I'm wondering if in your playthrough, if you don't discover um, enough at Brittle Hollow, it will like slowly destroy everything and you won't have anything left. So it might be a race against time on Brittle Hollow. And if that's the case, then I've severely messed up and I should have spent most of my time on Brittle Hollow. That just sends it out, right? Activate the gravity cannon. All right, well, that's that. Oh. Um. Um. Lovely, isn't it? This has got to be the worst Groundhog Day. The worst. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's probably... <laughs> it's probably gonna explode anyway. So, uh, it's possible I can get back, actually. Now that we use this system. I, yeah, I mean, I guess we can now start doing this. It's not a complete wipe whenever you... Yeah, it's not a complete wipe anymore. Whenever we get launched through. Whoa. Hold on. Get me in there. Uh, let's see where we can teleport to now. I love the locks. There's such a clever lock system too, and it's not too difficult. Okay. Whoa. So let's go ahead and navigate. Wait, what? Wait, am I somewhere different? Wait a minute. Am I not on? What is this? Isn't this the thing I've been on before? This is new. Wait a minute. Ember Twin Project. What? No. I've been here before, right? But it says I haven't trans. Oh, no, White Hole Station. Right, it will show you. It, it makes it seem like you haven't been here before, but you have. Okay. I need to turn the power on first. Is that not the power? Is it this way? Wow. Wait a minute, how did I turn the power on last time? Oh, I can't go this way. Is the power over here? Might be faster just to restart too, though, because the... There it is. Well, worked out for the best. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. It was nice while it lasted. And silence. silence. Whoa! Flashbang out. All right, so we get back to Brittle Hollow and we go back to where we were and we go down towards the quantum room. Discover what we can learn from the quantum area. There's, there's a lot of stuff we still need to do. We need to do the black hole um, construction site thing, whatever that was too. Maybe, just maybe, if we're lucky, we can finish Brittle Hollow today.
I don't know why I love that sound so much. <laughs> the gasping for air when you've been reawoken after. Imminent death. Nothing quite like it. Okay. Time to go. I just feel like I'm racing against time with Brittle Hollow. And more and more pieces. Like, what happened? We fell out and we fell into it. So does that mean that part is gone? Like, did I miss out on that part? Oh! Hold on. There we go. Alright, we're coming in hot. Mmm. Every time we enter it, it doesn't look like it's missing that many chunks, right? Right? It's funny, looking at it now and realizing the space exploration and stuff, I'm so goofy. Like, it's so easy to land where you want to land, and it's... I guess that now I realize more than ever it would have been so much easier to find this part if I had just skimmed the surface. That's where we need to land, hold on. Or we can always land down below, you know? Skip the bowl. Woo! That probably wasn't good for the already decaying structure. Okay. Let's check out our new piece of information though real quick. Gravity cannon. Quantum Moon, two new pieces. Quantum Moon, a uh, no my name Sol Solanam, landed a shuttle on the Quantum Moon. Uh, a no my da landed on the Quantum Moon's South Pole and prepared to make the journey and the rest on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive on the South Pole for reasons unknown to no my. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a no my structure from the Quantum Room Moon. I recalled it. Okay. Did we also, if we recalled the shuttle, does that mean we just, obviously I don't think he's still alive anymore, but imagine just going on foot on a planet, then somebody else that's messing around with the system recalls your shuttle and you're abandoned there. Oh. I think we're done with that area, which means, ow. Oh, we need to head down here. This should take us, it's so dark here. Is it always this dark? This should take us to the quantum uh, tower training thing. Should. Maybe it's always dark here because otherwise I don't think they would have put these lights here. It's certainly different than what we're used to. Hmm. It seems like there's two different ways to get here too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We know this platform. I know this. We've been here, we've seen this. This is where we recalled, correct? Maybe not. Create this, have it go down. I don't know if we wanna go down, guys. Are you sure? That looks like it goes into the black hole and I'm not really... That just goes back up. Not really here for it. Kind of want to jump down this way. Okay, leap of faith. Just do it. Oh yeah, it's not even close. It just looks like that. Our friend's here. I think Rybeck's here. I heard that and I don't have my frequency on. Quantum fluctuation's different. Whoa, actually we are getting close to the quantum thing. No, distress speaking somewhere. You hear that banjo, right? On a identified signal. Rybeck! Where? Rybeck's down there. 50. Rybeck. Gravity cannon. Oh my goodness, Rybeck's just hanging out on the crystals. <laughs> right, Beck, you might want to head out before we lose this whole spot. The, okay, the Hanging City's that way. We did it! We found him! We found him! Look, 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 look! Oh, beautiful. I like the use of color, too, but it also is very neutral. Okay, 
So from the main platform, you can get to all four things. The Nomai were so intelligent. <laughs> well, uh, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, I, though. I guess that'll be part to focus on. Not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is the Gravity Cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I, uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. And I was so scared of Brittle before, for no reason. Right back. Oh, this way. Rebecca, you're kind of hanging in a... Are you sure this is the spot that you want to hang in? This is pretty dang close to the black hole. <laughs> Alright, we'll be able to identify it later. There's something more down here? No, that brings you up. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We have to get over there. We need to... Okay. I'll start it, but... Oh my goodness, Ryback! This is so cute! Look at this spot! Okay, refuel tank. Ryback, what are you doing? We'll roast marshmallow before we go. Ryback looks so different. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow. I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um... This is Brittle Hollow, but uh, you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what the civilization was like? Only. You've probably heard that the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously. I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Look at him facing his fears. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. And it's dumb luck that I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into whatever's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Huh, <laughs> I'd be, uh, yeah. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timber Hollow's got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with no micro history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture and history and science. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I didn't take that into consideration. Obviously, when the Nomai built this, it was probably more stable. I, I mean, we're talking years and years ahead of our time. And obviously, they're all extinct by now. But yeah, I guess it would have been years and years before it became like it is now. So it makes sense why they would have built here at the time. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or, um... I have some knowledge of them, I mean. So, maybe I can help? Where should I explore? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because, uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside the surface. Trust me. I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble, yes, let's tell him everything. I learned something. Okay, let's tell him everything. I saw the Hanging City. You visit the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to, uh, you know what, is beyond me. Probably because it has to do with their desire for the eye. Somehow harnessing, can you harness black, a black hole? 
in some form or fashion. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something? Yeah, exactly. I learned something. I found the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth, you know? Somewhere that isn't constantly being bombarded with meteors and rockets and stuff. No, because that was all happening, because that's how they're... They had to go below the surface because of their shuttle to begin with, right? Mm, I found the escape pod. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have had trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is truly an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Oh, maybe there's more stuff that I can come back and tell them about? Let me hear that. Ryback? I really enjoy Ryback's banjo playing. All right, let's roast a marshmallow. So my thought is maybe if you doze off, it prevents you from getting zapped and restarting the day. Like maybe part of what you have to do is actually rest. Let's do one more. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. All right, let's doze off. And we'll see if it gives us more time. I don't know what's smart. It's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a nappy poop. Right, we need to go. We need to get a move on. And also, Ryback, you should probably find. You should, uh, I don't know, sir. If I were you, I would probably go back home. Probably. All right, so we're making our way to the quantum area over here. Like my feet, I never even looked at my little feet. Here we go. <laughs> How am I gonna hit that? Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Bells, if you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for the journey. Um, maybe we'll take the fast path. That makes more sense. Ascend the stairs. Actually, is this gonna take us there? Yes, sir. Here we go. The Southern Observatory. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get inside. It's over there. I need to get inside of that, but maybe I can't get inside of it because of... Okay, so... Okay, I thought this one was moving for a second. More people dying. A system right there. Where does this go to, though? It would catch you on the other side. But... I need to get inside. Okay. Hmm. Let's try going up a little bit higher. Maybe we're able to go down from below. <laughs> Oxygen plants. This took us all the way to the surface. Oh. Okay. Beneath you lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage, descend the stairs. Okay. Yeah, we need to get in there. There's so much down there. The trees are moving. The trees in the grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move. How is that even possible? 
If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is all of their ma there is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen anywhere else. It's giving obsidian. Hypothesis. This rock shard present is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about the area? Plume is right. The trees do not move. Do move. I confess. I didn't notice until I read these notes. Really? <gasps> yes, sir. A quantum little area. Okay. Man, it is dark here. I don't see what they're talking about, though. I don't see the shard. Maybe I can find the signal of the shard? No, different. Hmm. Quantum fluctuations. I see the island shard. We need to find the normal shard. This shard. Not even normal, but whatever this shard is. Whoa! There is a signal of some sort. Hold on. Unidentified signal nearby. Right. That's not nice. That is the shard. Holy cow, that thing is massive. Oh, tower shard. Plume, Felix. And I have determined that this atypical shard of rock is a rare reason. Oh, wait, wait, is the reason the objects in the grove are behind or behaving in a quantum manner? I cannot talk to them. Of course, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. We need to go back to Timber Hearth and find it. Suppose there are other shards like this. I never even thought to use the frequency on the shard in the observatory. The only other object we've observed displaying the quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself that's broken off. Wow. That was so cool. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, it's time to walk back down. There's more to discover. Exciting findings today. This has been, well, I mean, just with how much Brittle Hollow houses to begin with, but there is so much to discover here. So we need to find out how we're going to get inside of this, but I can't exactly fast pass it. Um. Got signals, symbols. Hold up. We have something I can read. Can't see down below. Let's try to launch it a little bit more. Down. Okay, I'm sticking to something. Hmm. We'll get him back. Let's try using this thing. I'm a little scared to use it. Not gonna lie. But when on brittle. I just don't want to have to travel all the way back here. Uh, maybe not the right time to travel to that. And also, I think I lost my best chance. No. You've got to be kidding me. No! Black old sun, won't you go? Let me try to get back on the planet. <laughs> Bring her in. And... Oh, wow. Great landing. I'm not dying today. Not losing this one. 
I knew I should have gone back and just figured that out. Why do I do this to myself? Oh. Nice. All right, power on first, not the ember projection stone. Hmm. Hmm. That wasn't how we got power here. There we go. Okay, now we can go back up. Now it should be open. <gasps> Yay! We did it. Okay, I'm gonna refuel. This is a different area. Let me drop this because we do not need to read this. We've already read this before. We actually brought it here. That's funny. We brought it to this exact spot. I remember that now. Uh, we need to get to the... Did you ever notice that almost looks like a person? Do you see that? It The way it's structured almost looks like a person in their hands and... I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But... Oh, my ship's that way. Hold on. Go past the ice. Woo! Ah! Keep going up. Keep going up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put away. Get right in closer. I might use the ship to try to get down below. Let's, uh, let's go back to the main menu. <laughs> let's restart the day. And restart the day. I wonder if the amount of times you restart the day, it actually does impact the overall playthrough. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. <laughs> uh, that's not good. The game, oh, there we go. All right, wake up. So I think what we'll do is we'll try to finish out the last little bits of Brittle. There's probably still a lot more. Let me see when we get into the... There's still a lot more. I know we need to go to the Hanging City and we need to do the Black Hole Research Station thing too. Let's see. Okay. Well, let me get us in... Oh. Lots of new things. Yeah. All right, let's start over here. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determined the shard to be the reason objects in this grave behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of Quantum Moon. This shard emits the same signal as the Quantum Moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. This is going to be a long, like, I know it's going to be a long game because we still have, I, I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking about how vast and how many things we still have yet to discover. No, my detected a signal, a quantum signal coming from Timber Hearth. Let's go ahead and do the signal coming from uh, Timber because that will just clear that guy up right there. Um, There was one more that popped up. Here we go. Ryback, Ryback, whoop, whoop, whoop. Rybeck has set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much to know my history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Rybeck is Timberhearth's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of, of space to explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of know my culture. I do kind of want to go back to the deep. Okay, we're going to have some fun. I, I know normally I, I try to stick to doing just like one or the other thing. But, uh, I don't want to have some fun with this. We're going to... Well, first we're actually going to go... Oh, let me put on my suit so that I can do this. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, first things first. We're going to go over here. We're going to scan. Eep. We're going to scan this. Solve that mystery. Whoa. Are there always two people? 
Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd see that happen, huh? Ugh, oh, me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Was there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Tell me more about Feldsbar. No thanks, I'm good. So sometimes they have different knowledge. Hey, I was just gonna come find you. Look, look, look. You've gotta see this. The Nomai statue eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably you should have started with that, and now they've opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen. Yeah, nobody. But this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabro? Or maybe Rybeck? Oh, stars, this is exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. I love their excitement for adventure and wonder. And is there something new? There's gotta be something we can learn about the anglerfish from here. You! Museum shard. Done. It's actually pretty good, I think, to come back to to this just every once in a while and put the pieces together. Because when we first read all of this, right, it was right at the beginning. Everything was so new to me. Like, there were so many things that I was reading without even understanding how it was going to come to play into the game. I really do like the cadence at which information goes to you. I never feel like I'm overwhelmed. It's an automatic lift. Okay, let's watch as that piece is now discovered. No? What do you mean? On Timber Harlow? What? Do you think there's another... There's gotta be something different then. There's a different quantum signal. <gasps> there's a different quantum signal? Museum shard. Unknown. Could that be... No, that's going, that's going way too fast. That's not on our own planet. That's somewhere else. Huh. Tower shard. Museum shard. We're going to Giant Steep. Buckle up. I gotta mix it up every once in a while. I can't stay just on Brittle. Where are you, Giant? Down below. There. Engaging autopilot? Let's go explore. Let's go over to this mode. Still need to find the entries for that. I guess we do have entries for it, though. All the different... I, yeah, the organization of this is really well done. Timber Hearth. The quantum signal. There is still something else out there. We did find the village in the Zero and the Nomai Mines. We found the mines. But there's a whole other signal on Timber Hearth. I love that there's still more to discover on our own area. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We found the Quantum Shard. We still have more here. And the Black Hole Forge. And the Hanging City is almost done. Aww. This is mostly just the Ocean Steps. Come here. Accelerating towards destination. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think it's going to be so difficult to land on that now. I think the first two days that I was doing this... It feels insane. It does. I will get... Don't worry. That moon will be mine. Look, it's gone now. And now I understand it. Now I know why. And I love how each and every single time I sit down to play this, I just feel like I get more and more. Actually, let's do something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Back it up, back it up, back it up. This is what we're going to do. We are going to launch. No, it's gone. No, it's not not keep it in sights keep it in sights so we are going to do this if that's in its sights can i land on it does it remain with it in its sights you know i mean i captured it on camera but i don't i don't think it's possible i don't i don't think i got it i don't think i got it oh i got it Oh! 
We did it! <laughs> we did it. Okay. This is very eerie. A moon with water on it? Is that normal? The music changed. Oh. Oh. Oh no. The quantum moon. What signal identified as quantum moon? Any distress beacons on? Guys, that's not good. I feel like we shouldn't be here yet. I don't think the moon wants us here. Okay, we're gonna leave him alone. I think the I I think it I think it gets deeper out there. No, it's not. It's all just this like light. I this <sighs> It's raining. Some of the areas are raining. That must have been what's his name. Um a name that I can't pronounce right. Plants. Flowers. Flowers. What is some of this material? Some of this material is so strange. My oxygen levels are fine. Um. Look! There's one of those! Okay, let's go to the tower first. We'll go to the tower first and we'll try to- Oh! Try to fly into it. <gasps> What's his name? That was really scary, the way that they did that. Wait, I think the tower's gone. I think if you lose sight of the tower, it, it moves. I think it actually rotates. Or it does the quantum thing. It does the quantum quantum. But here, we can actually kind of... Do you think it's inside of it now? Because of the uh, gravity, I'm able to just kind of float along the top and look for it. This is kind of cool. So we'll have to go into the eye of that. Mm, go back down, go back down, go back down. I do not see the tower anymore. Uh, I see the tower. No, 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 no. Okay. The shuttle pod. The shuttle. I pulled this thing. The tower's move. Ah, oh, the tower's move. This is, um, Solanum. Yeah. So we saw this. We got to explore all this. We would be able to go. We'll be able to go to, to Brittle Hollow from here. Okay. I do not want to get today zapped out of my... I don't not... This was... Mm. Let's get to the tower. I want to be able to do this before... Before... The day resets. A tower. Another piece of the shard. The hanging city into the black hole. And the different ways that this is done. Is this like the key of what to place where, maybe? I can't move that. Okay, oh. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. 
I can't move that. But maybe this is the order? This is the, um... It just rotates around? I, I don't know. I, I actually don't know quantum entanglement because we haven't learned that piece yet. But I can close myself back in here. Interesting. I don't think there's any other entrances. That was it. Quantum entanglement. I'm gonna try to go into the eye of that. Also. Oh, He... This would mean he lived way beyond. Like, this looks like he died more recent than any of the other Nomai we've encountered. But the preservation could also be because of the quantum effects or something about the moon and something, something science that I don't know, but I'm speaking out of my butt. You know? Ship's log, here we are. Quantum moon. We have a quantum shrine. I was expecting more from that, honestly. There is more to explore here. I was able to land on the surface of the moon. I found a dead Nomai in the spacesuit near the South Pole. It could be because it was also in the spacesuit that we were able to see it. Still like that. That's possible. Very possible. A Nomai shrine that wanders around about the, the quantum moon. You ever call the rule of quantum imaging? I don't know the rule of quantum entanglement, and I don't know the rule of the sixth location. But... Shoot. I need to see what six location it's talking about before we get reset for the day. Go back to the tower. Back to the tower. I think it showed us the rule of the six location. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 no. Do not. I think it's this one? Or that planet? Mm. It's gonna be hard to figure out. Is there something else I need to repair? Yeah. I really did a number when I landed here. Also, what happens when you fly into something you didn't expect to even land on in the first place. It's happened. Eye of Hurricane. Okay, take it nice and easy because this is tiny and I don't want to have to do this again. We're looking for the rain. There. There, there, there. Just gently out. Nope, 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 no! We lost it. We lost it. We lost it! It's okay. I can get it back. That will be really easy to land on now, though. Like, at least we know. We know now it's gonna be easy. Okay, so we are looking for, in our spacesuit, too. Or in our spaceship. We're looking for counterclockwise. That guy's clockwise. 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 Hmm. The rare counterclockwise. There. That's it. Okay, maybe not. That is definitely going counterclockwise. Do I need to go from the top? Oh! We did it. We did it. Wait. Can I go in that? <gasps> it, okay, it bounced out. It bounced out. No, that isn't that the current that they're talking about? I need to get actually launched in there. Maybe I already passed the current itself. I'm gonna test it. No, don't test it, don't test it, don't test it. Okay, don't. I guess I figured that the jelly. It's gonna hurt the ship. The jellies leave. We need to be pushed into it. Maybe I need more pressure. Let me get out. 
No, that's the current. The current is right above. Let me try this again. Okay, that's clockwise. We're in one right now. Clockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise right there. Okay, let's try this. Oh! Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Oh, gosh. Where am I? <laughs> Alright, let me try this again. Counterclockwise. Go up to the top. Maybe I need more pressure or more boosting or something. Launch me! No. I did it before! Fly into it. <laughs> Doesn't want to do it now. That's definitely counterclockwise. How did I do it to start with? This one's broken. My cyclone's broken. There we go. See, look at that. Okay, do I just let it... Hmm. Here we go. So it pushes you past the current. But this is something else entirely. Because look, we can get down here. And yes, we are in fact past the current. That's an island. All right, I say we just do it to learn. I know we're gonna get zapped, I know. Exit ship and repair electrical systems. Yeah, we just got fried. We just got fried. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, I can't even use that. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up to the surface. Oh, we went past the current, current, and we're just gonna land here, and we're gonna repair this. Mm. So we need something else to be able to help us not. Help! Help! How do we forget that the electrical system's up there? I guess we can go into space. We can go back to Brittle Hollow. Or how long has this video been? Oh, this is almost like a two hour. It's okay, there's something else I wanna do in Brittle Hollow. Let's get into space real quick. We can just match. Um, Brittle Hollow's there. We match velocity and get out and repair. Where is it? On the other side. Woo! I like that it has kind of like a red light warning too. Smart, clever. Right, electrical systems being repaired. Nice. Power should be restored. Let's see if there were any updates from Giant's Deep now that we've gone below. All right, power restored. Anything new? Yes, something new. Just one tiny piece. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. So, possibly more to discover there. Let's go look on the map. Nope, that tells us everything has been, everything that we can possibly explore has been explored as of right now that we found. There's nothing else orange. So I think that's it. The ocean is, yeah. I think that was good. At least we got to figure that out. So back to this, we're gonna try to land on the Hanging City where I landed originally and I wanna explore the Black Hole Forge. I think that'd be a great place to stop. Okay, engage autopilot, Black Hole Forge. There's gonna be a lot of answers there too. Brittle Hollow is gonna be that place that we keep going back to. There's so much to discover. So, so much. What a beautiful game. I wonder how many um, 
I want to look up how many devs it took. Well, I guess we'll see at the very end. Yeah, I'll just, I'll wait for the very end. Oh, wait, let's see. Boarding autopilot. Woo! Baby, baby, slow down. Baby! Okay, here we go, hold on, hold on. It certainly looks like it's losing more and more, but surely they wouldn't remove... I'm thinking surely they wouldn't remove enough that you could no longer figure it out, but, um... I wouldn't put it past them. Do not go near that black zone. Or the black hole. Here we go, we're looking for the hanging part over here. And we're looking for the, oh my goodness. Oh no! No, 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 oxygen chain damaged. I'm getting close. I know I'm getting dangerously close to the black hole. Now let me go out. And flip. Flip again. Flip, 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 flip. Not that way. Oh gosh. Oh no, here we go. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I want to land here. I want to land there. No! No! It's trying to suck me into the black hole. This is where I need to land. Get there. It's because I'm coming at it from this angle. I need to flip my ship. Or... Oh, no, I don't need to flip my ship. Let me just land on top of it. Go back, go back, go back. Or maybe I do. Wait a minute. No, 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 this is right, this is right. I'm such a goofball. I kept trying to flip it. Uh, where do you need to repair, baby? Where do you need to be repaired? The hole. It's probably up top. I think I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right. We'll come back to that. Oh, shoot. The fuel. Let me restore my fuel. Let me do this. Okay. So we're back at the Hanging City. This is where they said that they needed more to discover. If we get zapped again, then we're stopping there. We found all this stuff, right? School district. We need to go back to the school district because I didn't finish reading everything there, too. But we went down here. We're gonna go ahead and grab the forge. I never even saw that. Yeah, Black Forge Control Center. Go down here. It's up? No, it's down. So now we're gonna raise it. Black Forge Controls. Now we need to get all the way up there, though. Huh. a lot happening here. This is where we last got zapped. I started to discover this. I think I did read those parts, technically. We went in Oh, this is a different scroll. We never found this scroll. Solution two, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relatively, I believe that the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. No! This is the safest path for our clan. Is this the safest path for the best one? Unrelated, is it though? We've tried so long to find something that I and others believe impossible to find in the search for the eye to the futile. We should choose the option with the least potential. The greatest challenge here, I think, is that we don't have the design for such a platform core in the vessel. Black Hole Forge. And there you have it. <laughs> Let's do the time warp again. Oh, it's a painful jump to the left. Well, I think that's a good stopping point. I mean, it's a cliffhanger for sure. I'm gonna go back and read those scrolls in their entirety. I kind of rushed both of those. That just is a... Uh... 
It's so unfortunate that I keep getting zapped when I'm in the hanging city. Like through and through, each and every time I'm trying to be in that city, I always get zapped. I don't know if it's me or what, but I need a marshmallow after that. Oh my goodness, we need a marshmallow. Oh, today. But today was a really good day. We discovered a lot. Like, let's go, let's go recap for today's episode. We definitely did a lot. So I'm really happy with the success from today. Actually, there is one more thing we could do. There's one more thing we could do. Yeah. Uh, we could try to find this quantum piece here. We could try to do this. The quantum timber hearth piece. I'd be willing to do that real quick. Just kind of mess around and see. Yeah, let's just... We'll just, um... We'll move around and see. So we're looking for... We need to put on quantum fluctuations. Uh, the mine might be different than what we had saw before. Towards shard. Different shard. Also, I mean, my, my thought on this, this will always give me the flashback to, to the first time I got zapped. Side note, but all I'm... Quantum fluctuations unknown. Hold on. Hold on. Go back. Uh, yeah, this will always make me think back to the first time I got zapped here. Do you think it's this? Um, tower shard. No. It is here. There's an unknown, like 82. Ooh. I think we should stay. Okay, land here. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me get my spacesuit. The first time I landed, or the first time I saw the day zap. Like, uh, I wish that was the first time I realized that it was a, it was a loop, but unfortunately I had died before then. But yeah, that was funny. That very first time that that happened. Quantum frequencies. Yes! We never went here. So we saw this when I was exploring the mines, but I actually never completely drop down here. Grove Shard. And there you go. Now, is there anything that speaks to it? Is there any information to uncover? The Grove Shard. Oh, there's something right there. Mm, maybe not. <gasps> yep, there's something right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I lost my complete train of thought. Yeah, back then I didn't know about the shards. I was just like mindlessly exploring and I saw the ruins. There we go. Quantum Grove Shard. There is a strange rock shard in the grove that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuations frequency. Then the other one is Hourglass Twins. Hourglass twins. We found the one on the moon. That's the quantum moon shard. Isn't there one on... Yes, we already found the one. That guy. The Nomai detected a signal coming from the hourglass twins. The Nomai named visited the quantum, yeah. So much more to discover, so... All right, guys, there you have it. That is the end of episode four, I think. I think that was four. It's flying by, and... Like I said, in each and every passing episode, I think that I'm going to continue to just improve my skills at flying, piloting, um, knowing what to look for, how to make the most in my day. I, I am still, I still keep getting zapped in the most, or I guess the worst of spots. But uh, all in all, I'm really happy with these first four days. I think that it's been and you guys can probably see this, no kidding, the visual progression that I've been building in my head of not only that, but the acclimation to the game, understanding the story more, what's happened with the Nomai, um, just also all of the inner workings of this solar system, right? Like seeing how the quantum moon works and it's not, I kept calling it like a dark moon or whatever I was saying, but yeah, the fact that it is a quantum moon makes it exactly what it is. So that was a really important part to it as well. Um, we still, this was a really great day too because we landed on the interloper and we realized that we can't call back that uh, space shuttle 
until we land on the twins. We still need to go into the twins. I know there is going to be so much information to find of the Nomai there when we try to land there. I think I've been holding off on it because there is still so much to uh, to mine in Brittle Hollow. Like, we've got all of these left. We've got the Black Hole Forge. I know my name, Pokey, plan to create a new advanced warp core for the Black Hole Forge. We've got more in the Hanging City that we need to do. And then the Tower of Quantum Knowledge we never finished either. So that is what you can expect to see at the start of the next episode. Is probably tying a pretty bow around Brittle Hollow before I even begin to look into going to the Twins. Or also, oh, we shoot, we need to go here. We need to get to the Pro Cannon. I have not landed on it because you can't land on it. I think you have to match its uh, velocity and then we're going to have to go out and over and try to try to pop over to it. But that is what we keep seeing explode at the start of every day as well. That is something that I pieced together and really just noticed finally uh, after restarting our day time and time again. I've noticed that that is what happens. That's what initiates each and every moment is when that breaks apart. So, and that's when the time starts ticking. I suppose. Okay, well with that, we got a lot of stuff going. Like I said, there's a lot of these paths that we've kind of rounded out. We found Ryback too, so we found another one of our companions. Every time we find another one of them, I feel a little bit better. We've got more to explore with the gravity cannon. It's all coming together. It's there. I still, it's too early for me to kind of talk about, I think, piecing together, understanding what's happened. My only prediction that I still have to this moment is, I mean, and, it, and it's not even really a prediction because I think it's pretty self-explanatory that Dark Bramble is where our last companion is at. But will they still be alive? That is what we're going to figure out. I'm holding off on going to Dark Bramble. I don't trust it yet. I'm sure maybe next episode we'll take a, take a little peep at it. But yes, for now, we are going to continue moving forward with... I need to find something on Hollow's Lantern because I don't like that it's hidden like that. Uh, yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. We went back to Brittle Hollow. I faced my fears. I realized that it's not that terrifying at all. Giant's Deep as well. We rounded out. And so as of right now, there's no reason to go back to it anytime soon until we can figure out how to get past that electric... We went past the current, now we need to get past the electricity. And, uh, or electric wall, whatever you want to call it. We found more in Timber Hearth as well. So those kind of got rounded out. Quantum Grove we figured out. I guess maybe, did that? That was just added to it. That wasn't something that was available to us. And yes, we still need to figure out the Dark Bramble. And how are we going to handle the ghost matter? So... With that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, because I sure did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, YouTube.